Hello. Well, howdy, sir. How are you tonight? I'm good. How are you? Doing all right. It is Saturday, and here we are back again. Session five, scenario number nine. Welcome to anybody out there in YouTube land that's watching this vicariously after the fact, uh, seeing what kind of mischief Roger and I can come up with week in and week out, right? Yes, we do get into mischief, don't we? We do. Either by accident or design. That's right. <laughs> that is correct. And tonight, a very special episode, because the paradigm is shifting, right? Because of your suggestion last week, we are going to change the way we roll our dice here and see if the fates will be any kinder to one or both of us. We, I don't know. I, I, You know, it's all superstition, I know. It is. I mean, it, it is superstition, but I think this idea will take out at least one of the potential unbalanced, I guess, possibilities here in our program. Sure. Yeah, I mean, we can only we can only trap so many variables, and and yeah. I know both of us are from from an IT background, so you wanna you wanna isolate those things that you can control versus those you cannot. And yeah. and if we can eliminate that, then sh then we can just realize, well, Patrick's doing something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think that's what's going on. But uh, <laughs> when one side gets, I don't know how many initiatives I got last time. That, officially, uh, it was eight. seven. Seven was the longest seven streak you got. Yeah, I've got my sheet of paper right that's... here, and I was counting them, and I said, wow, seven in a row. Yeah, that that's just changes everything. Yeah. Well, that's all right. We'll, we'll see if that makes a difference tonight. And uh, hello to you. I hope you had a good week. I, I am very excited about where we are we are going from here because I mean you're you're encroaching on Franklin, and while that may not seem like much to to anybody who is not familiar with this, that is you're knocking on the door of two points per turn, and it's really I mean the distance between Columbia and Franklin is considerably larger than the distance between. Franklin and Nashville. I mean, if I scan the map over here just a little bit, it's it's just a scant 12, 15 hexes, or, or at least 13, we know, <laughs> to the blacksmith yeah. shop. But uh, I have a feeling once you get, once you breach the Harpeth line, then uh, I, I've got to scramble. And I'm not, and I've been trying to think about this all week, as far as where do I make my stand? Because knowing that the the considerable points that you will get is as soon as you get three, was it three divisions within three hexes of natural three hexes, yeah. yep. So that's the 5406 line, which is outside the forts and outside the readouts. But that means I've got to protect those now and make those difficult to you. So you don't just roll up to them up the pike. Uh, so this, this is weighed heavily on my mind this week. And, uh, like you had done the previous week, perhaps I may have been distracted during other duties. I don't know, but uh, you know, this is it is a fun diversion to try to figure out from the map what have I got to do, you know, when when the chips start to pile up on the table. Um, so I'm excited. I, I and I I'm sure you are as well. Yeah, I think uh, tonight um, I've got some things I'd like to try to do. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, we are on turn 10, 11, actually. We are on turn and 11, yes. December 3rd, which historically means we should be building up at Nashville. We're obviously not there. Well, falling. Or I'm falling behind the historical. School. And that is a damn shame, sir. I mean, <laughs> we're looking at our pocket watches and wondering where is the enemy? Um, so. Well, like we do each and every week, uh, this is our chance to... Uh, turn back the clock a little bit and address some things that were pointed out to us that either I found or you found or, or were told to us in the uh, comment section on the previous video. And as always, thank you for that. So the the big elephant in the room is the attack that you made with Buford and Bell. And I didn't catch it until I was watching it in post. And I noticed that the attack you made was on the supposition that they were attacking as a unit. You had the, I think Bell was a two and Crossland was a one. And yeah. and we used a three versus an eight, which is a completely, well, it's, it's a slightly more favorable ratio 
for attack. And the difference would have been if we had done it with one to four instead of one to three, then uh, that would have that would have actually been a, a one plus one result. And you were, of course, kicking yourself that you did not take Forrest. And, and Roger and I discussed it after the fact, and uh, and I offered him the opportunity to say, well, of course, Forrest would have activated Buford, and, and, and Roger, being the sportsman that he is, he, he declined. He, he waved away the laurel three times and, uh, and said, no, no, um, I think we should just roll it back from there. And so what I've done is I have placed Wagner back where he was, and the assumption there is Buford still attacked, and then everything subsequent to that still occurred. Uh, Garrard came up, he flushed out Buford, Jackson moved where he moved. The only difference then, uh, before the rain started at the end of the turn there, was Wagner got to level 3 fatigue, and then I used his 4th fatigue for building the Abatee there. And Loring still came through to join Walthall and then moved down around Wagner. So what you're seeing right there uh, was the agreement. Basically, it was the, the simplest way to roll it back with the assumption that Wagner was not... Uh, and, and more importantly, uh, it did not cost me four victory points and two manpower losses. So I'm very happy about that. So thank you, Roger, for that. Well, I, I didn't think I should benefit by making a, both a tactical and then follow up with a rules error. So if you're comfortable with this and... Uh... I'm certainly, I think this is the right answer. And as I went back through, it seemed like everything made sense that you would have done what you did I, with the exception, possibly the flanks refused on Karan. So if you'd like to back that off and um, pick up a fatigue, no, cause I, I'm perfectly, I, I'm perfectly okay with that as well. No, that's fine. Cause I, I still would have had the supposition that Forrest would have been sneaking around uh, okay. with the, with the expectation that Loring and Walfall was, were, were up to something. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that that works fine for me. And I don't was there. I don't think there was anything else that that jumped out at me. Did you have anything? No. no. And uh, I know what happened to me is I was my brain did a brain freeze because I was kicking myself over <laughs> not using force, and then I stopped paying attention to what I was doing. Well, we we are both not to do today. Yeah, we are both completely guilty of that. As we mentioned a couple turned a couple sessions ago, that in this game it's so much about what the heart wants. And when, yeah. when you see cavalry <laughs> moving together, you're just like, oh, well, the cavalry attack together. And then, of course, now it's 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 the first brigade that would attack, I guess. But uh, all is fixed. All is well with the world. And I think we're at a good place to proceed on here. Uh, was there anything else that you wanted to look at or talk about before we get underway? No, I don't. No, I don't. I think we are ready to okay. start. Cool. Well, we did do the uh, random event, which is late rain. So that has been okay. that has been sort of prevalent throughout this entirety. We've seen uh, wow, one, two, three, four of them now, and we're we're knocking on the door of winter. But uh, we move on to. I no longer have Union manpower enhancements. Uh, let's see if I can perhaps get a Union reinforcement. So uh, up next are some more Murfreesboro folk. So let's see what my die roll is here. And it's a three, so I believe that is just one line. If you've got your chart handy. Yes, one line. Okay, so, one line. So, no, no modifier. No modifier. So Anderson now will head down to Murfreesboro. He has arrived. And you... I think uh, you are done with yours. You only, <laughs> I love that they like, they make you wait all the way to turn 10 for that one line of, of Smith B. I mean, and now you, you have to wait to potentially 20 turn 24 for yep, anything. Turn 24. <laughs> so it's like, okay, sure. So how big is Anderson? He's a four. He is a oh, four. Okay. Um, okay. Well then leader transfers. Let's, let's look around here now. Stanley, Still going to stay there. I don't think I'm in a position to move the cavalry anywhere. And with Lee right outside of Franklin, I don't know that I can afford to move Schofield. So I I will not do any leader transfers. Okay, let me look at this. Um, Cheatham. Down to bait, under hood. And... Yeah, I'm going to move Lee as well, that stack. I have a conference here. A council of war at Laurel Hill. Interesting. Okay. That makes them all connected. 
It's a nice central spot, sure. depending on how things go here. All right. Well, then, uh, let's see. Attachments. Uh, I am going to... No, I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on the attachments, I think. Yeah, there's, there's no reason to... Because if I attach sub-1 and sub-2 to Cox, then they get the worst condition, which would be D2. The D2. So I'm just going to wait and let them all continue to heal and then maybe do it next turn. Uh, so no attachments, and I don't think you have any either. No. So uh, on to the action cycle. So our first big roll, and you'll note up there that uh, I've, I've changed the way that uh, my name shows up there. It says Patrick and USA. Roger's done the same with his CSA. So we're hoping for those of you watching the die rolls that, you know, we're, the way we're going to do it now. Um, and do we want to have a standard as far as, as the person rolling the initiative for the end of their action, they will roll their die first, and then the, the next person will roll theirs. I guess that's probably pretty good. And then yeah, with combat, that, it doesn't matter. Seemed, yeah. yeah, and then with combat, the person attacking rolled first, and the defender would roll second. That seems to be, sure, you know, sure. Make, that keeps it kind of a nice suspenseful. <laughs> a nice pattern. Right. And, um, and yeah, it kind of makes it suspenseful because, you know, the defender sees a six and they go, oh, God, and they see a one, they get excited. Right, um, right. And the defender's going, <laughs> <laughs> um, rather than trying to roll them both at the same time, we, uh, the person I was playing, we tried that and I just didn't sure, very well. Sure, sure. Okay. You know, um, I was like that, but, well, uh, it did seem like it eliminated a lot of the um, doubles seemed to go away. Right. And, and also, um, so that to me, he convinced me that that this is the right thing to do. So. I agree. I agree. So I'm looking forward to trying it. So let's let's do it right now. Go ahead and uh, we will roll for initiative. We'll eat. And uh, one, two, three. All right. So you get the first initiative. And as always, good luck. As I toast my, oh, my yes. adult beverage yes. to you, sir. Yeah. Same. Same here. Uh, good luck to you. And um, okay. Well, Cheatham will activate Smith and Brown. They both go to T1, so no extend march necessary. One die plus two. I do want two for the six. That's an eight. Smith is going to go first. Cheatham's going to stay where he is. One, two, three, five. Come into there. And get there. One, two for brown, three, five, six, seven, eight to there. Okay, here's my initiative roll, five. Okay, continue. Four, it's mine. Okay, we'll take bait, fatigue one. And Cheatham is going to attempt a core assault against Whitaker under Stanley. Here's the core assault attempt. It's a three. So that does come off. Hood will attempt a grand assault. It's a five, so no grand assault. So what I see is on the positive, I have a type of plus one. I have all six hexes covered. So the final flank is a plus four. I get the hood bonus of a plus one. Now things are going to start coming off. I see a ratio of a minus two. And artillery, since it's clear, I only have two guns and you have three, so that's a minus one, which is uh -huh. a minus two. That's correct. So what I see is I have six up and four down for a final of a plus two. Let's see. Type hood, uh, flank... That looks good. Okay, here's my attack die. Four. Here's my defense die. Okay. So, plus three, plus three result. results. And you look like you will get one on the retreat. Hmm. Okay. So, plus three on eight is a one DR. And you have a five, so you just get fatigued out. Look at you. Yeah, you get. Yeah, he doesn't lose anything. Okay. Okay. So now I need to go. 
it's a small R, so it's a, so I'm going to go here, which is away from the attacker, but still in a Zoc. Uh, it's priority three, I believe, because I'm not going by road. So I will lose a manpower from that. So that will come off, and then I will give you another manpower loss. So basically, the stuff that Wagner lost uh, is now been replaced by the Stanley loss. So good job. So that was one. I could potentially go up to two, three more. I will go. All right. Uh, so it's got to go away. See, and, and now because of our discussions online, uh, I'm going to be very cautious with my retreats here, just to make sure that I got the highest priority. So let me let me mull on this for a moment. All right. So the next highest priority is away, not in a zone, uh, by road if possible, right? So if I move into 3714, that is not farther away. So it looks like 3715 would have to be yeah. the, so that's my priority two into the woods there. Now I can go anywhere because I've done the two required on chart one. So as long as I don't get closer, so that's not closer, and I'm one, two, three away, right? So as long as I stay three away, I can still go to there. And that's not in a Zoc, and I think that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. So good attack. I was I was kind of hoping yeah. I could get, get him out of there before uh, Brown whipped around there, but good job. Yeah, but, uh... At six, I was hoping for at least a die roll of two. I was just going to move to 36, 13, but that eight let me get to, let me set up the retreat loss. So that was nice to get that opportunity. Um, here's my net die. It's a six. Three. Keep going. Okay. Lee's going to activate Johnson. Here's his movement. One die. And go three hexes. Oh, Lee and Hood are going to go with him. One, two, three to there. Might it die? Another six. Mm. <laughs> well, <laughs> it does. It doesn't matter that I rolled a six. Yeah. Um, yeah. We haven't had a switch of initiatives, have we? Our, no. Uh, Army initiative. No. We will activate Johnson again. Here's his movement. One die plus two. He's a five. Lee and Hood are going to move with him. One, two. How long with him? He's not going to attempt an attack on. My knit die, three. Keep going. Three. Wow, okay. So, so much for the strat plan of maybe <laughs> balancing this out. Okay, I'll take Stevenson, T2. Here's his movement. He's just going to make a minimum. We're going to roll it anyway to see what he gets. He gets a 7. Oh, he was he was activated by Lee. I'm sorry. He's, he is within Lee's commander. He's, Lee's going to stay where he is. Stevenson's going to make a min move to there. I have 6 movement points remaining. What would your what would Kuhn like to do? Uh, they're under a fort, so they will stand. Six, that makes sense. Four clear terrain. So that means you've got three artillery pieces. So Stevenson is done moving. Initiative three, two. I'm not destined to get the initiative. <laughs> it seems that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, we're going to attempt a core assault with Johnson against Whitaker. He goes to take three. Here's the attempt. Two comes off. Uh, once again, Hood will attempt a grand assault. It's a six. It does not come off. He's starting, he is starting oh. to doubt himself. He is. Well, this might be ugly. Nothing for ratio. Uh, the type will be a plus one. Uh, Hood will be a plus one. I have... So it's a plus four... I always forget that. 
uh, then minus one. So plus three final flank. Right. Tactical is going to be even. Ratio is going to be even. Your train is rolling, yep. so it's a minus one artillery. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five up and one down for a final of a plus four. Okay. Here's my attempt or my attack roll. Here's two. My defense. Hooray! Five, so six plus, plus one, one final result. Yes. Plus one. Uh, so I have a six. That's a 1D for me. And I have four, so that's a, just a D, which I'm already, but I will lose my last fatigue. But that's good because I can do a voluntary retreat. So that's Fine. handy. Flip. So, uh, so you lost oh, manpower. Oh, it doesn't affect this, but you need to do an extend march on Stevenson. Oh, okay. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. It's a one. Dead. He's okay. All right, so I'm going to put a manpower loss for you. And Stanley then will go voluntarily one to there, two to there, th oh, three to there. And four to there. Actually, he has to go by. Uh, oh no, that's the last one. So it's volunt. Yeah, he can go wherever he wants. Um, anything after the first step, I believe, uh, on a voluntary, is as if you're on chart two. So he can do that. Okay, so you went up to there. Okay. Here's my net roll. Four. Okay, keep going. Two. Well, I was hoping to do some more damage to Whitaker, but I only flipped a couple of manpower levels on him, but I chased him all the way over there. And we'll take under Jackson. We have Armstrong. He's going to go to fatigue one. Here's his movement. Two die. Plus two. Five. He's just going to mid move to there. Initiative. Three, one. I have yet to win the initiative. For those of you yeah. keeping track at home, <laughs> I know you. Everyone's got a dry erase board with the tick marks for Roger versus me. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna activate Loring Fatigue One. Here's his movement roll with Stewart. So it's gonna be a plus two. Mm. He's just going to make a min move, join forces group. Here's my net die roll. Two. Oh, it's yours. I don't know what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Well, it would seem like the prudent thing to do would be to get low out of there. So we will we'll activate low. And he will get fatigue, loses abatee, unmounted as they are, they will walk their horses in some direction, so, uh, and I believe I just roll one die for them, I, uh, yeah, I'll have to check on that, um, but uh, they're just going to go to there, and that is all, so here's my init. Nine. Oh. <laughs> Why do you mock me, Dolph? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I should have rolled two dice for them and just cut it in half, but that's fine. They were only going one hex. Yeah. Okay, Forrest is going to attempt an assault on low. He's going to attempt it with Loring. He can bring in one infantry division. And he's going to bring in Ross. Okay. And I may not cav retreat. So. Yeah, you're, you're, you no longer have that option. No point in bringing in Rucker. Cause it's so, this is his attempt to. So they both come in. So it's 8 to 2. So that's going to be a plus 3 for ratio. Type's going to be a plus 1. Tactical is going to be a plus 1. And Forest is going to be a plus 1. Six is a final, because there's no artillery. You don't have any, and I don't have enough to give myself any right, additional. Right. Okay, so you got a plus six, huh? All right. 
Let's Come on, low. Tack roll. Three. There's defense. There go. So, plus, plus four, four. So, not enough for a manpower loss, thankfully. Uh, so, <laughs> they are D down. 7 11. So, I pick up a single fatigue. Well, they must go one, two, three, four. And I guess they will go to Owen's station there for five. I want to take that hex. Don't want to stay where I am. I think I'm just I'm gonna really leave Loring where he is. I'm just gonna move Ross there. Here's my net roll. Four. Keep going. Two. Uh, Forest will activate Rucker and Armstrong. Two die plus three. 13 hexes. Oh, Jackson and Armstrong are just going to do a min move to there. They're just going to go down there and join him. You are hatching a scheme. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about trying to attack Hatch, but I didn't, didn't really gain anything for me at this point. Uh, here's my initiative. Six. Uh, continue. Okay. Okay, we'll take uh, French to fatigue one. Here's my movement one die plus one. You can go four hexes. He's going to go one, two, three, four. He's across, across the river. My initiative. Five. Uh, He's running away with it. So far, Stuart will activate Wathel. He's going to go to T1. He's going to lose his entrenchments. Here's his movement roll. One die plus two. Well, he can just do a min move to there then. Here's my net. Four. Hey, all right. Um, hmm. I'll have Hatch activate Stuart. Uh, here is their movement, plus one. Twelve, nice. yeah. All right. Well, then that may give me some possibilities here. We'll go four, seven, eight. Nine to there. Here's initiative. Ah. You rolled a one. Oh, chance for late rain. Chance Here for we rain. Go. It's raining. We have late rain. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! <laughs> That's actually okay. Ah. All right, continue. So now it's raining. I'll take Waffle to fatigue two. Here's his movement. Seven, but he can only do a minimum. Well, let's see. What what would Hatch like to do? Oh, let's see. You've got a seven. It's raining, and you are two to one. So you've got you've got prepared. You've got tactical. You've got ratio. It's three up, and it's raining. So it would come down to a two. So I say. They stand. Makes sense. Uh, so they're just going to go down the road and join Lauren. My net. Two. Three. Three. Okay. It's yours. I'll have Wilson activate Hammond. Since they're not doing any good up there now. Uh, here's their movement plus one. Six, so they'll go two, four, and six to there. And knit, uh, maybe mine. It is mine, okay. Uh, we will have them go again. 
Hammond to two. Here's their movement. That's eleven. Ooh. They'll get three to there, six to there, nine to there, and ten and a half to there. Okay, initiative. Of course. Yeah. Gonna have Steedman march come out of his entrenchments. And here's his movement. It's five. So he will go three to there and four and a half to there. Knit roll? Five? Two. Okay. Sure. Uh, Smith activate Jay Moore. Come out of his entrenchments. Here's the movement. Plus one. Five. Go two. Four to there. Initiative. Six. Oh, oh. yours. I'll take French to fatigue two. Shares movement one die plus one. Seven. One and a half. Three. Six to there. Net roll. One. And also one. Look at you. Still raining. <laughs> double late rain. The double late double rain. Double secret probation late rain. That's right. Um. Forced will activate Rucker to fatigue two. Two die plus three. Can go ten hexes. Uh, Forest is going to stay where he is. Rucker goes one, two. Chalmers this time. Two, so five to there. To there. Gonna stop there for now. It's mine that roll. Two. Three. Two orders. Uh, I will have Smith activate MacArthur and more. So MacArthur comes out of his entrenchments. Moore gets a second fatigue. Here's their movement plus one. Three. All right, so more will go there and put Thomas and Smith with him, and MacArthur will go one and a half, three to there. Initiative two. Oh, one wow. for yours. Yeah. Activate MacArthur again with Smith. Here's the movement. Boo! It's a two. So they will just go to there. All right. Initiative five. Two. Yours again. Right. Um, I'm going to rail move. Thomas, Milroy, and Anderson up to tennis to uh, Nashville. So they will get two fatigues to there. All right, initiative six. Hey. Oh, <laughs> it's got to stop teasing me. <laughs> well, I don't think there's much. Six just don't mean what they used to mean. For me that I want to try to do is... I got this Smith character way here in the back, so let's increase his fatigue. One die, plus one. Oh, there we go. That's going to be three, six for him. You know, I think he's been stuck in late rain. Came on board. I think so. 
Uh, it's mine again. Yours. I'm going to activate Gerard. And here's his movement. Big move. Okay. So he is going to go four to there. What would Ross like to do? Plus five. You have. Got the artillery covered. I think. Two remaining? I do have two, yeah. So enough for a normal. So, like, uh, one for tactical, Plus. five for ratio, and then down one for rain. So, five? Yeah, we'll go ahead and cap tree out of there. Flips manpower. So, this is just, I think, a straight up roll, I think, for him. Should have put up an abatis. That was silly. Four. So, he was a one, so that's a minus two. Yeah. So uh, I lose one. Yeah. Okay. Go oh, four to six hexes, correct? Mm -hmm. Gotta go by road that way. I guess I could go to four three fifteen. Doesn't matter. Continue going further away. One, two, it's three, four by road. I'll go five to there. All right, and I'll use my last movement point to go right there. Okay. Uh, initiative. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> it barely. Triple streaker rain. Barely mine. Um, okay. It's almost take record to take three. Is there movement to die plus two? Nine. Here's their extend march roll. Oh, he flips. Treacherous, muddy roads. That does absolutely nothing for me. <laughs> I'm just going to throw up a flanks refused. I <laughs> can't do what I was going to do with him now. He's too small. Yep. So, anyway, at least I'll have that going for him. Uh, here's my net. Four. Hmm. Six. Yours. Have the 175 Ohio drop, drop there, and they're just gonna slide one hex to there. Okay, uh, initiative four, three. Yours again. Okay, I'll rebuild Cox's division. Are you? Yeah, they're looking a little peaked. Um, I think I'm going to pass. Okay. I'll take Smith to fatigue two. One die plus one. You can go four, which means you can go one and a half, three to Glen Cherry. He's making a slow hike up Columbia Pike. All he knows is, is uh, Tennessee rain. That's yep. <laughs> since he arrived. My initiative, three. Four. Uh, I will pass again. Okay. I will pass as well. And so ends another rainy day. Uh, but we still have potential for entrenchments and things. I'm going to recover in the sunshine. Mm -hmm. uh, all recovered. We move on to the next day. Uh, I have some business here with... We did recovery. So my cavalry phase... So let's go through my my worn outs here. Uh, we'll start with Coon. So it's just not a six. He's okay. Uh, we will go with Croxton. Oh no! He becomes unmounted. Okay. Well, now we'll go to Stewart. And Stewart. Also! Oi, this is not good. They're also worn out. Oh, he's under hatch. Okay. Yeah, got yeah. him. And uh, we've already got low. He's unmounted. Uh, so now we check Wilson. Wilson! And you saw it here first. Wow, <laughs> three, sixes. three sixes in a row. <laughs> <laughs> My 
mark of the beast. Wow, all your cows. <sighs> no, once. Wow. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Couple down in Murphy's Bro. So, yeah. yes, yes. Uh, so, heading down there, we got. Uh, we'll do the uh, Fifth Tennessee. And they're okay. And then we've got. Under Knipe, we got G. Johnson. He is okay. Wow. They are knackered. Um, so, I have to take all of them off the board. Whew. Got to get them remounted. To get them yeah, remounted. Be... That is terrible. Okay. Well, that ends the C phase. Moving on. Uh, victory points. Let's give you one for Columbia. And... We've moved the turn indication phase, and I would like to state for the record, but horses suck, and Union <laughs> horses, apparently, I, I know, I remember reading in the Sears book that uh, there was all kinds of problems with, they were scrounging horses from all over the countryside, and all the way up into Kentucky and everything, just give us, give us your mules, give us your horses, whatever you can ride, so I know that this is playing into that narrative, but three sixes in a row... Yeah, that, that was, sucks. That was brutal. <laughs> yeah, your cab corps is pretty much now just uh, slow-moving infantry at this point. That's right. Okay, uh, we we will press on with that. So we are now on day. Well, turn twelve. So December fourth, and we still don't have to do our winter weather phase. Uh, it is now time for random events. Uh, would you like to do it, or would you like me to do it? I'll take a gander at it. Here. Okay, you do it. It's a six. So more rain. Oh, more <laughs> rain with mass. All right. Wonder why there's not an effect. It's okay. So, so I'll copy rain. that again. Okay. And I did. I did look up uh, when we took the quick break. I, I just want to make sure that yes, if I take the horses north of Nashville, and then during the remount phase, they are successful in remounting. They never have to do that. They, we remove the worn out, they are fresh, right. fresh horses, and we never have to do that again for the, I don't have to do that for the rest of the game for that particular unit. Uh, all the rest of them, so basically they, they stay in this worn out condition until they either unmount, as we've seen, and then I do something about it. <laughs> either I keep them on foot for the rest of the game, or I shuttle them off to Nashville for R and R. I don't. I don't know what I'm going to do here, but choices have to be made. I'm just saying we put them all down. That's that's what you do. <laughs> they shoot horses, don't they? All right. Right. Okay. Um, what's next here? We've got um, reinforcements. All right, well, I will continue on with my reinforcement attempts. This time, uh, still more people for Murfreesboro, potentially. Here's the roll. It's a two, which... It's a one, because it's a no. All right, so I get uh, Morgan down in Murfreesboro. That's good timing, since he gets there and he's like, where is everybody? Well, they left. They went to Nashville. Okay. So I've done that, and leader transfers. Let me see if I have anything. Yes, I do have some leader transfers. I'm going to put Schofield down to Wagner. I'll keep Stanley there for the moment, and then my cavalry guys will stay where they are. So that is it for me. Okay. I'll move Forrest to Buford. Everybody else can just stay where they are. So attachments. I do have attachments now. Oh, I'm going to reconsolidate. I am going to, uh, even though they're still at D1, I'm going to suck up all five of those units uh, to Cox. So, or five manpower from the two subs and the 175th Ohio. So uh, I will add five to him. One, two, three, four, five. And as we know, divisions can only go as max of 11 for the Union. And then uh, he's going to get two pieces of artillery. So how do I 
add the artillery. Artillery control period. So boom and boom. All right, and everyone else is released. And Cox has returned, for the most part. Still need to rest a little bit. Uh, and that is that is all I've got. And I don't believe you have any, unless you want to merge a cavalry or something. Uh, no, I don't. Do. Okay. All right. All. So we move on to the action phase for the action cycle. So yes. here is let us let us roll our initiatives. Mine. And it's me Yours. first. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I will have Schofield activate Wagner. Go to one. Lose his entrenchments. Here's his movement plus one. Of course. Alright. So we'll have him move to there. Okay, uh, here's the initiative. Here's mine. Six. Okay, off you go. Interesting. Okay. Stuart will activate Waffle and Loring for movement. Here's their movement roll. One die plus two. Four. Oh, Stuart's unmounted. There's no cab retreat option. That is correct. So they're just going to do a minimum to 4215. Initiative. One. Uh, ooh, we could have had late rain right away. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Okay, we will activate Gerard. Here is his movement. Big six. He's going to go to there. And threaten Forrest and Buford. What would they like to do? You've got... I got three to one. I got artillery covered, so it'd be uh, plus. I've got enough for prepared, so uh, a plus three and a minus one. So I'm looking at a, a final of a plus two, I think, because I'm I'm up for ratio. I'm up for prepared, and I'm down for tactical. Two plus three minus one for forest. So plus two attack. That's what I'm looking at. You know what? We'll we'll stand. We'll see if how my cab forces can do here. Mm, okay. Um. I think we're gonna make that attack. So. Okay. Here's the attack roll. Five. That's seven. Ooh. Ooh. So it's a plus, uh, plus six. A three is a minus is a one dr. Take the one off of a uh, bell. Well, I to retreat. I rode, so 4516. I rode for their way. Two, rode for their way. Three, rode for their way. Four. You know what? They'll go around the toll house, stop there. Five. Okay. I will not take the hex, but I do have one point remaining from because I moved one and then I spent yep. four. So I will come down to here. And I have nothing left, but you certainly have the option to cav retreat if you wish. Uh Jackson will stand for now. Okay. So here is the next initiative. Four. I four. Okay, all yours. I'll take Loring and Waffle to take two. So Loring will need an extended march. Just movement. One die plus two. Seven. Here's uh, Loring's extend march. He's okay. Uh, Stuart's going to move with Waffle. They're just going to do a min move to there. Loring's going to go one, two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven to there. Initiative. Two. Five. It's yours. Okay. Schofield activate Wagner again. Here's the movement. It's three. I'll just have him go there. Initiative. Yours. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we will have Croxton march. And it's two die cut in half. So it's four hexes. So one, two, three, and four. Initiative. Yours. Okay. We'll have Croc. Uh, let's get rid of their entrenchments. Um, we'll go to two. Croxton. Here's their movement. Two. One. Two. All right. Initiative. Yours. Balances out. It, it swing should, one way, it, then they does, swing the other. It does. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, we'll have Wilson activate Croxton to three. We've got a plus two on this one now. Plus two. Ah, oh, seriously? Oh. <laughs> seriously? Come on! Oh, now watch this, folks. It's time for an extended march. Okay. All right. Three ones. Oh, uh, three sixes, three ones. Okay. So they get two. And they will go one and two. Wow. Okay. Uh, initiative. Now it's yours. It's my initiative. Forest is going to activate Ross for movement. Two die plus three. Thirteen. He's going to transfer to him. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve to there. My initiative roll is a one. Chance for late rain. Does not happen. <laughs> no. Um, hmm. Well, we don't like that. We don't like forest being forest, so Garard will go to fatigue level two. Here's his movement. Four. One, two, three, and four. And Rucker has the option, even though I have no movement left. Oh, he'll stand. Okay. And here is initiative. Here's mine. It's yours. Okay. So Gerard will go to three. Here's his movement. Big six. Here's the important extended march plus one. He's okay. So now what would Chalmers like to do? Uh, Rucker and Chalmers will bug out. Increases his fatigue. Here's his cavalry roll. Ooh, Two. Close. So no effect on you. I have to go four to six hexes away. Could go 48, 13. Yes. Uh, yeah, because either one of those is not in my zone of control, so yeah. Yeah, those are the two options I have. Now I can follow the road. Now I need to stay further away, so I have to go either 50-13 or 50-14. One, two, three. Uh, four. I have to go to fifty four one four. It was one, two, three, four to there. 
that's where I'm going to stop. Okay. And no effect on your movement, I don't believe. No, it did not, because you were a net zero. Um, I actually think we're going to stay right there and just throw the flanks refused. Okay. Uh, initiative. Two. Is mine it? Two. So let's, let's go to me. Mm -hmm. Dork's going to activate uh, Waffle and Loring to T3. Here's their movement. Movement point is three. We'll do uh, Loring's extended march roll first. So this will be a, since he's exhausted, he gets a plus one. I believe. He's okay. Gonna go one, two, three. Waffle's just gonna go one, two. Where's Stewart at? There he is. He's gonna stay with Waffle. Oh, his extended die roll. Pod, who? He's okay. Uh, init. Four for me. Four for me. Four for you. Activate French. There's his movement. One die plus one. He can go six. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Initiative. Five. Hmm. Yours. Interesting. I think I'll just uh, have Cox. Slide one hex into Franklin. Hmm. Uh, initiative. It's mine. Cheatham's going to activate Bait, Smith, and Brown. Here's their movement. Eight. They all went to T1. Cheatham will stay with Bait. One. Two, three, four, five, six. This will go next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Brown will go one, two, three, four, five to there. Initiative one. Yours. Yeah, we'll have Whitaker dig in. Fatigue two. Build an abatee initiative. Yours again. Hmm. Oh, if I had some mounted cavalry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll have Stanley activate wood, and he is going to go to one. Um, we're going to be dropping a sub there. Oh, there's wood. So, let's see what their march is. That's a good march. Ah. Alright, um, so let's bring out a sub. So how much do I want to give him? Um... I'm going to leave him with five. Five would will come down to four. And I'm going to leave them with two pieces of artillery. And wood will come down to. And they will get. And they will go one, two, three, four, five to there. Sub one is to four two. Okay. Initiative five. Hmm. Yours. Lee's gonna activate Stevenson to fatigue one. 
here's his movement. One die plus two. He has a seven movement points. Lee and Hood are going to transfer to him. Okun has his horses, so he does have the option to cab or treat if he'd like to. Do, um, but we are at a fort, so with three artillery pieces there, we're going to stand. Okay. Stevenson is going to go one, two, three to there. Left the Zock, one, two, and then re-entered. Okay. Yeah, still stand. Yeah. Okay, here's the initiative roll. It's a one. Chance for late rain. Come on, rain. It's raining. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it is raining. So no entrenching going forward. And I don't have to worry about French coming over the hard path now. Um, French isn't going to be able to sneak across. That was probably should have got him back over. I didn't know if Cheatham would be in position. Do we cheat him and how? Uh, Cheatham is going to activate... Uh, you're a four behind an abatis, so that's a six with four pieces of artillery. No, three pieces of artillery. I have three, yeah, in clear. Clear. So Cheatham is going to activate all three of his divisions, so Bait will need an extended march. Smith and Brown, here's their movement roll. Four. Uh, Cheatham is going to transfer to Smith. Here's Bates extended die roll. It's a five. He's actually okay. So he's going to do a min move to 3909. Brown. Cheatham are going to do a min move to the hill. Initiative. Two. Four. Yours. I ye 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 ye. Precarious. Very precarious. Ooh, I'm gonna leave it to the fates and let you earn it. So I'm gonna pass. You're gonna pass. I'm gonna pass. And if you're gonna make a play on Stanley or Sub One, I'll let you do it here in the rain. Okay. Because I, obviously you're looking at a for for taking on Stanley, you're trying to get a grand assault off, and Hood's been pretty tricky on that thus far. Plus we got we got rain, and I'm dug in, and I can't afford to move to put a flanks or fuse up. So threatening bait with wood doesn't seem like it's going to do very much for me. So I will pass. Okay. And if the dice are hot. Then you've earned it. And fairly won. I only get the hood bonus if hood is in the hex, correct? Same hex. I'm going to take Stevenson to take two. Here's his movement. One die plus one. Two. Here's his extend march. Two. Okay. There's a road going up into that hill. We're all going to pile into that hill. Initiative roll. Four. Hmm. It's mine. Well, I think the way we're going to try this is he's going to attempt a core assault with Stevenson. Here's the attempt. Five. It does come off. Who is going to attempt a grand assault? It's a four minus five. I can bring in one more hex. So we'll bring in. Smith and Brown. We're attacking Stanley. I'm sorry, did I say that? No, no, that's I, I kind of figured. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you're attacking. Okay, you're attacking Stanley. Got it. Um, so that's I'm bringing 21 guys to your six. That's a three to one attack. So the ratio is a plus two. Tactical is even. Type is a plus one. I have a hood bonus of a plus one. I have six artillery pieces to your three, so the artillery is not a factor. 
I have five hexes covered. But one hex comes off because you have sub one, and I do cover the woods hex because I have bait has a road into it. So the final flank is a plus one, and it's raining, which is a minus one. Uh, so it's going to be two, three, four, five. Minus one is a final of a plus four. Mm. Okay. Here's, here's my attack roll. That's a six. <laughs> Come on, big six. Oh! <laughs> oh, you got it. And take some manpower losses on that. Oh, boy. So. That's only a one FA for me. And a four on, yeah, so it's one. So we exchange. Exchange man. But it's, it's, it's more costly to you. Um, yeah. So there. And he gets two, but it's it's earned. Well, for some reason, my and spreadsheet B. died on me. So. So, uh, so I am now up to 30 manpower losses. I pick and up a are, small F. And you are at six. All right, so I have to go farther away, which he's got to go uh, there for one. And two to there. That's farther away, right? Three to there. Four to there. And the hex is yours. Yes. Guess I might as well. The whole stack in there. The whole stack in there. Initiative. I. Well, I got it. Of course. Um, Stanley is going to activate wood to two. And he will transfer to him. Swim the river. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> We got we got pontoon <laughs> boats. Uh, here's the movement. Yeah, it's not great. So he's just going to go to there. Uh, initiative. Mine. Yours. We'll take bait to T3. Here's his movement. Four. Extend march. Three. He's okay. He's just going to join that big stack. Put it at the top. Initiative. Three. Five. Fourth. All right. Um, seems like the last f desperate fight for Franklin here. Only bait is a threat, but you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it make it untenable for you. So Stanley's going to activate wood and sub one. So that you get a fatigue. And I will have a... So we'll have a, an extended march for wood. Here's their movement. That's nice. Uh, here is wood's extend march. That's okay. So they'll go there, and they'll go there. Initiative. Chores. Wilson's going to activate Hammond. Fatigue level one. Here's his movement plus two. <laughs> they really are they worn. They're so <laughs> yeah. worn out. It's unbelievable. They're just broken down completely. <laughs> yeah, so they get to go two hexes, so they go... Uh, oh, they get two movement points, so... Wait, uh, no, it's three, five... It's cut in half, so two and a half. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So I can only go one. <sighs> I could cry. All right, uh, initiative. Six. Sure. I'm going to have sub one... Uh, Throw up an abatee for them. Okay, initiative. Good. All right, let's try Wilson again with Hammond. Come on, big roll, big roll. 
It's 10, so they can go 5 now. So 3, 4 and a half. All right. Initiative. Yours. Uh, bring Clayton up the Franklin Pike. Take him T1, one die plus one. Go three, so he's going to go one and a half, three to New Hope. Initiative to one. That's a Chores. Four. Okay. I think I will pass. Take Clayton to T2. One die plus one. So he can go four, but he's on rain, so Pike he gets to go to Evergreen. Initiative. Whoa, I rolled it twice, but they were both the two, so. Okay. Uh, it's mine, but I will pass. Okay. Um, once again, these poor bastards back here in the back. Myth. One die plus one. He can go five. So that's going to be three to there, four and a half to Pillow Place. He might make it to Columbia, maybe. He knit. A one. Uh, I, will Three. Pa I will pass. Okay, take Smith to T2. One die plus one. He can go four hexes. Is it worth it to extend marching just to get him to Columbia? No, it's really not. It's three. He's at the grist mill. Initiative five. Uh, I will pass. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Forrest is going to activate Armstrong. Human fatigue one. Two dice plus three. Yours are tired too. Six. Forrest is going to go with him. One, two. Jackson's going to stay behind. One, two. Well, four, six. I want to get to Loring. Uh, Inet, four. It's mine. Um, I will continue to pass. I'm going to pass as well. Okay. Let's, let me just... I sure, yeah, yeah take, take a look. Yeah, French is fine. I don't want to move him anymore. Okay. All right. Wow. Very interesting turn. Lots. Uh, there, there was the attempt on Franklin or the the outskirts. So, you're almost there. <laughs> almost. Yeah. I uh, stay on target. <laughs> I uh, I had some things I wanted to get done on day one, which I didn't. Then uh, day two did not go well either. Yeah, late rain is a killer when you just don't don't expect it to right i mean in both times it's been right before a, a critical option for an attack yeah it uh what did you think of the uh well we can yeah let, let's let's uh, we'll do our recovery here yeah we so got some recovery. things to do yet good yeah, yeah, um, horse. My, more horsey stuff okay so yeah coon let's see if coon rolls he's okay and i think uh let's see stewart's unmounted Croxton and Lower unmounted, and Hammond's unmounted, and then come down to Murfreesboro, 5th Tennessee, let's see how they do, they're okay, and G. Johnson is also okay, alright, so I believe that is all the horsemen, yeah, alright, uh, victory point, so we will give you a point for... That takes you up to now 20 points for your Columbia Holdings. And let's see, what else? What else do we have here? Turn indication is done. Okay. So we are now on December 5th. And uh, I think we will do our random events and then we'll, we'll wrap it up for tonight. We had two really good turns. Uh, we're just over the two-hour mark, so we'll cut that down to hopefully about an hour, hour 20. 
and uh, we will we will assess the situation here. So here is our random event for turn 13. Two die. Oh, look at the events here. Two dice, and it's command Ooh. paralysis. Paralysis. Interesting. Okay. Decide with army initiative suffers command paralysis. Look oh, at no. you. So that means oh no! <laughs> that means minus to movement, right? Or it's I know it's different in each game. Uh, or is it just okay. on the initiatives? Aside with the army initiative, that's always command. The movement allowances of the affected player's infantry and wagon units are in wagons performing marches are reduced by one to a minimum of one. The movement allowances of affected cavalry units performing marches uh, is reduced by two to a minimum of one. Units may not force march. They may make extended marches. The affected player... Oh, crap. Sorry. The affected <laughs> no. player may not execute assault actions. Hooray! Franklin holds! Oh, my goodness gracious. So if we were playing the old Richard Berg Blackbeard game, they were so excited for defeating Stanley that they're having a debauchery and revelry with all well. of the brandy and cigars. And that will cost you... Boy, howdy, that's... that's... Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. Well, you got a whole week to plan on that and, and, and Yeah, and, what am I planning for <laughs> the last <laughs> I can't I can't move and I can't I'm not doing an assault. That's well, at least it's not raining. <laughs> oh. I mean, obviously, we were talking about having the Battle of Franklin here. <laughs> right. Oh, certainly. Yeah, I was I was all geared up for it. So I am going to, uh, we'll save it here, and we will now move on to our final thoughts for the night. Uh, you had a very active evening, so I will let you take point on this one. Well, I, I felt like there were some things I wanted to do on day one. I really uh, was hoping to have done more damage to Whitaker, which I, uh, but he got away, and I was hoping to have a to get uh, another core across the hard path, but that just didn't turn out that way. And then I had a, you know, that day two, uh, having Buford's division get hammered there, that was unfortunate. But I think the stand was, a, I'm not going to, I think a plus two stand with my cab in that situation might have turned, turned out well, but it didn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, um, that was kind of a gamble on my part, and I it didn't turn out because Gerard was able to drive them out and then, and still sit there blocking the Harpeth Pike, which obviously is what I wanted to get clear and to hook up, get French hooked up with his other two divisions. That that's been a but late rain, man. It's just uh, it, it has hit some crucial moments. I was able to get my attack off to to get next to Franklin, but obviously I was hoping to to be able to get one more attack off and to uh, actually take Franklin, get the, right. uh, get wood. Uh, uh, who is in there? Uh, wood will, yeah. Wood and Cox and, yeah. uh, and Cox will be, uh, uh, wood will be rejoining with sub one. And now Cox is completely fresh. So yeah, the, the question then becomes do, you know, how much of a stand do I make there to slow you down? Or how much are you going to press it? Now, I, I presume that with command paralysis, it, it may be a rest turn for you. I mean, un, unintentionally, but you, you, you've got everybody at fatigue level one and exhausted. You know, might as well just take the opportunity to just rest them all and then get that them. was yeah. That, as soon as I read that assault bullet, that immediately was what. Yeah, I mean, got a. A lot of guys are tired. A lot of guys are disorganized. I mean, there are, in in these campaign games, there's always going to be a lull. Sometimes by design of the different things, as we see here, this is kind of it, it's it's there to force you into decisions that you didn't necessarily want to make. Yeah. But I think that's the same with all the damn unmounted horses. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I didn't want to spend six turns getting these guys to Nashville and back, but uh, it's there. Well, that's part of the part of what happens, right? And you're right. I mean, this may there's no question the Confederate Army had more than its share of command paralysis in this campaign. So right. it's uh, it's not exactly ahistorical that things would break down. And so, from my side of things tonight, um, I'm I was pleased with the turnout. With at first, I was a I was a little ambivalent about the rolling separate. Although in my mind, I 
do like that idea, but it just it was still not improving anything because you were getting all, <laughs> you were getting all the sixes and I was getting all the you know really low rolls. So once that started to turn, once I got that little bit of confidence in the repulse on one of the attacks, that was nice. And then when uh, when Gerard, yeah, when Gerard actually made his attack on Forest and pulled it off. I couldn't believe that, uh, because I I figured you'd make a stand, more than likely, but I would I would have been good either way, but at a plus two I figured you know I got to take a shot and then when I I rolled the five and you rolled the one wow that was that was an infusion of some confidence that I think I needed on this side of the river plus the rain slowing things down for you. Uh, has pushed your timetable back again. But you'll notice there that just having Johnson and Clayton right where they are, that is still occupying so much of my attention with Coon, Schofield, and Hatch covering those eastern fords. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I would like to pull them back, but I can't afford to have you get sneaky in there. Um, I Unfortunately, at the detriment of le- letting Stuart out of the box. Uh, so he's he's got a little room to maneuver now, and I need to figure out what to do about that, how to how to control that again. Because when you moved him back up to the west, to the southwest, there, I thought, uh oh, he's trying to sneak into Franklin from that way. Uh, I, I I was that was my thought, and I got that. I rolled a one. Right, I I heard it. And you went. <laughs> <"Ugh."> <laughs> it was like, well, I just can't. You know. Yeah. Do I take them to fatigue four? I mean, and right. potentially right. disorder, and then have them in the middle of your army and immobile. Right. Or now they're still threatening your flank. They could still cut off Wagner, uh, Stewart, mm-hmm. and Coon. Um. Or I can turn back north, possibly. Of course, the roads here are going to drive me east yeah, first. Sure. But of course, I had I, I soon turned French back. That was like, but then you get you had the chance to move wood up to block, and then the right rain blocked mm-hmm. it. So I was like, well, I can still swing him up and bring him through yeah. the North Chapel. And, right. I, I wasn't sure if your intention was to actually cross to set up the flank. Well, I figured that was your priority. But at the same time, having him that close to Cox, and I wanted you to... I was afraid you were just going up there to try to get me off of fatigue level one. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. And, um, that uh, was... and I could not afford to have him out for another turn. Uh, so just moving him into Franklin seemed like the, the natural choice there. But uh, yeah. I, I thought it was a great play for for the outer defenses of Franklin. Uh, that was very inspired to move Hood onto the stack to give you the possibility of a grand assault. And uh, it worked. It did. It did work. You know, you've got uh, yeah. you got a manpower out of it, and you're set up. Uh, as for the other defensive works for Nashville, I'm I'm pleased with kind of setting pieces yeah. up into play. Uh, but I at the same time, I don't <laughs> I don't want them to dig in so far that I can't be flexible to your approach because now Hood's up there. I'm like, oh, now he could he could come up through Beachville. So I have to keep all of those possibilities. I was I was wary there for a while that you were gonna perhaps come down towards Antioch, and so I you know that is a wide wide flank to to monitor to try to keep you three houses oh. away. So, yeah. So uh, yeah, wh- well, whenever would... you whenever you commit to something, then I'm like, okay, now I can focus on that side. <laughs> when I when I moved French, um, I think he got a six or something. I was, uh, or maybe I can't remember what he rolled an eight or a six, whatever he got. Uh, oh, and you I agonized was, over it. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was deciding, do I want to make a quick slice into Brentwood? That, that scared me because I was in the middle of your army there. And, you know, Annette's might go and you might kill him. And then the other thing I thought, well, could I maybe just get really lucky with die rolls and swing around your Western flight and sneak him into Nashville? <laughs> sure. But I realized you weren't gonna you weren't gonna last. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you've got ten, twenty, <laughs> thirty some odd manpower. I guess the wagon sits there till winter weather, right? It does. So he's actually giving you some defenses. Right. Well, I mean the forts too, but uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'd have to I'd have to fight my way through the forts. Yeah, it was like kind of yeah. This is uh, I'll have to think about how. <laughs> I'm relatively pleased with the last two turns. With the rain, uh, I can work with rain. Um, having having no cavalry to speak of is a bit of a pain for 
again oh. for for strategic movement of blocks and things like that. But yeah, yeah that's I was really planning on taking advantage of that. This now I can't. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> right. I can try, but it's going to be without being able to launch an assault. That's a huge sure. That's a huge tool out of the toolbox. Mm-hmm. Well, I. Uh... I look forward to seeing what you come up with for next week, and and if you decide to sit down for a day, that's okay too, because <laughs> that keeps the clock well, a ticking. I, I might have to do that. I, I I don't know. I mean, it's I mean, other than some of these guys that are, you know, I might just make a priority of getting Smith into Columbia because mm-hmm. it's because it's four turns now and he's still two hexes short. Yep. That may be the first thing I do. <laughs> Well, at least we won't have late rain at all. That's no true. Rain that's true. A day without rain. rain. We know that. Um, so, well, uh, session five in the books. Uh, good job tonight. And uh, we hope you folks out there in YouTube land have enjoyed this tonight. And we cannot wait to read your comments and feedback down there in the in the comment section. So please take advantage of that. Click that like button. Click the notification button. And, you know, give us a, a, a subscription if you're of a mind to. And uh, do check out the playlist because I've got, you know, the learning playlist plus all the historical games that uh, series that Roger and I have been playing through. But this one is set as part of the the Hood Strikes North and as a Scenario 9 playlist. So if you've missed any of those, you can go back and see that in there. And uh, if if you are so inclined to make a financial donation, we would certainly <laughs> love that. But uh, do not feel obligated to. And uh, with, any, with that, I will give you the final say for tonight a uh, great game again patrick mm-hmm. uh, very enjoyable evening and i uh, look forward to seeing uh the, the next two days come out and uh, yeah. i'll talk to you next week all right franklin stands <laughs> indeed again <laughs> yes have a great weekend uh great holiday okay you too bye-bye take care